Hey angels and biscuits, CSDL here, and today's video is going to be my November wrap up. Now, I didn't read a lot in November, so this will probably be a little short, but let's get right into it. So the first three things that I read were manga. They are the first three volumes of A Man and His Cat by Umi Sakurai. And wow, these are so good. This is such a wholesome manga. I really loved it. I haven't read a lot of manga lately, so this was really fun. It's also really wholesome. It's really good. I, I just, I can't stress enough that this is very sweet and wholesome and everybody should be reading it because it's amazing and I need the rest of the volumes that are currently out. Like there's a fourth one, maybe a fifth one. So yeah, anyway, super good. A Man and His Cat. So it's basically about this man who after his wife dies, uh, he finally goes to adopt a cat. They had planned to do it together, but then she died. I don't know the whole story yet on the how, but um, so he, his wife always wanted a cat and he goes to adopt one. He's a little hesitant about it. He's never had a pet before. Uh, he finds uh, this cat, Fukumaru, uh, that's what he ends up naming him. He, uh, he was this cat that nobody wanted. He wasn't as cute as the kittens, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, so he wasn't, you know, he wasn't the first choice, but he becomes this man's first choice and he takes the cat home with him and then the wholesome shenanigans ensue. I mean, it was even wholesome while he was adopting the cat. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's very wholesome. It's about his life with his new cat and in the cat, they show a lot of the cat's perspective, the cat's feelings and other characters too. Uh, not to mention they have like really cute covers. I mean, look at that. Like, also the back's pretty cute too. Like, so cute. Um, it's very cute. It's very wholesome. It's a very wholesome and sweet story. Like everything about it is just sweet and adorable and wholesome. And I, I just, I want more. I love this. I love this manga so much. It's so good. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I read the first three volumes of A Man is Cat. So, the book that I read for November was Red Wolf by Rachel Vincent. And um, I love Rachel Vincent's writing. She does a lot of supernatural stuff. Were panthers, werewolves, you know... Um, stuff like that and her shifter series which is a Were panther series was the first thing that i've read of hers and i love it so much it's one of my favorite series of all time in the supernatural genre so i was really excited to learn that she also has done like some ya because this is a ya novel uh her shifter series is in the more adult category of books uh, but ya is fun and I didn't know she had done that, so here we are. And Rachel Vincent's also one of the few authors that I really enjoy in the first person, like she writes in the first person for her characters. And normally I don't care for first person stories. It's, I don't know, sticking in one character's head the whole time isn't my favorite thing, but I really enjoy the way Rachel Vincent writes first person. So this book, I mean, the cover alone kind of gives you some Red Riding Hood vibes, and the book itself has a few of those elements in there. She does go into the woods to see her grandmother and stuff like that, but this is a werewolf novel. There's good werewolves and there's bad werewolves, or at least so the story goes. Our main character has got some conflict going on, like, um, are these bad werewolves really that different from us? That's kind of one of the struggles she has. And also, like, in a lot of werewolf fashion, she has to choose between her werewolf world and the human world because the boy she really liked at first was part of the human world, and then this other boy comes in that she's apparently been promised uh, to be married to. Uh, I mean, she does have the choice or the option to say no, but if she says no, it's like bad for her village and bad for someone else's village. So there's like that whole conflict. So she has to choose, you know, keeping a secret from the human 
that knows nothing or be with the human that knows things but she barely knows and a lot of struggles typical kind of werewolf tropes going on but i like it and overall i really like the story i like the characters i do wish uh we got more at the end it kind of ends a little bit too open-ended for my taste but maybe there will be a sequel i hope there's a sequel i would love a sequel to red wolf like just the way it ended it ends perfect setup for a sequel also something to keep in mind, this is not set in a modern era. I am used to that out of Rachel Vincent. Her Shifter series did take place in the modern era. This one does not, but that's fine. Um, I don't think that's that uncommon for werewolf novels and especially something with kind of a um, darker, well, I guess fairy tales always kind of had some darkness in their stories, but like, you know, Red Riding Hood, but darker and werewolfier uh, vibes going on. Makes sense that it's not set in the modern era, I suppose. But overall, I, like I said, I really loved it. I do wish the ending had more. It was ended just a little too vague for me, uh, unless there is a sequel coming. If, it, if this is going to be a series or something, that would make a lot more sense for the ending rather than leaving it so open-ended. And, you know, she, uh, Rachel Vincent, as an author, does have good pacing. This story has good pacing. It had good characters. Uh, even though there were some plot elements that, you know, I thought were a little bit predictable, like, it didn't make it bad by any means. If anything, it did kind of build up the suspense uh, for some of the other storylines that were happening uh, as well. But I would definitely recommend Red Wolf if you're looking for something in the werewolf department, which I have been lately. I'm in a werewolf mood. I also just recommend Rachel Vincent in general. But yeah, so these were the books that I read for November. And that is all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.